So, what is user path analysis and why do we need it? You see, as marketers, we always want answers to so many questions like what are the users doing after launching the app what did the user do before performing the key conversion event how did the user traverse across the website from event a to event b how many steps did the user take to do the conversion event can the steps be reduced what did the user do before uninstalling the app so, why do we want answers to so many questions? Because we want more users to use our app and to come to our website. We want to improve the DAU. We want to improve the number of conversions. We want to reduce the app uninstalls. And we also want to improve the user ratings on App Store and Play Store. To think of it, it's not an easy job. As marketers and product managers, one has to know how exactly the users are using the app or website. We're going to see uh, what's the most favorable path for users to convert. I'm looking at this Sankey chart analysis and I get to basically analyze what are all the different paths that users take and which are the most favorable ones for a product purchase. So now let's say if um, you wanted to analyze uh, what are the most probable activities uh, that a user is doing after uh, he launches the app for the first time. Right? So after first app launch, so the specific app um, tends to ask for location permission and 84% uh, of the uh, users are denying uh, the location fetch permission. So um, is that really require? Uh, can it be thought through if we can um, push this uh, fetch permission request uh, two or three flows down the lane? So this is exactly the kind of uh, gap that um, a product manager or um, an app developer would want to identify um, with respect to the design and, and, and the user experience. And not just this, you can go ahead and explore um, what happens in cases of zero day uninstalls, uh, right? So you can just go ahead and select your first activity to be first app launch and your ending activity to be app uninstall and you can select your uh, user path window to be one day and uh, you get to know exactly what users do um, before they uninstall the app in the same day. How is this going to be uh, useful for our product managers and our app developers? So when they understand that a specific path is not working for them, is not leading to too many conversions, then they can redirect users using the nudge or they can also use uh, in-app messages to redirect users to one of these flows to make sure that there is a product purchase happening. So user path analysis helps you visualize and plot how users navigate through the app and it also helps you to decode the user drop-offs. Much better than funnels, it completely removes the guesswork with respect to which events users would have done versus the events users did. So what are we waiting for? To enable this feature on your panel, kindly reach out to your Netcore account manager. Thank you. Stay awesome.